All right, so we have started recording. Um, meeting today is really about the reopening of school on Monday for grade 11 and sixth form students. So we are going to be discussing the reopening of school for grade 11 and sixth form students on Monday, December 7th. Um, as I said before, I'm asking that all the persons who um, are on this meeting, as soon as the meeting is finished and you have received the recording, I'm asking that you share the recording with students and parents who have not been able to join us so that, so that they can get the information that they would need to get ready for school on Monday. So we would have already met last weekend and we had discussed the possibility of school reopening. And therefore we, um, therefore we are aware that there were plans in place for school to reopen. So I'm confirming now that school will reopen on Monday for grade 11 and sixth form students only. Now we discussed some of the details that needed to be shared, um, but I'm going to repeat a couple of them during the course of this morning's meeting. And let me start with the arrangement for students to get to and from school. Now we know that part of the issue around the spread of the virus is the issue of persons um, not physically distancing themselves from each other. Um, transportation to and from school provides um, an opportunity for persons to be um, too close to each other and then and therefore um, putting others at risk. So we have put in place a plan to assist with the transportation of students. Um, what we're going to be doing, we have identified um, the main routes that most of our students travel on, and we are going to be using those routes. We are going, to, we have already made arrangements with bus operators to use those routes to take state students only to and from school um, during the two weeks between Monday and the 18th of December. You already know what the routes are because you would have shared them with you, but I'm just quickly going to share uh, my screen with you, which gives an outline of um, what is it we're talking about. So I'll share this information with you um, as well via WhatsApp in your different groups. But what we have done, we have identified when we actually had about um, 10 or 12 different routes, but we don't have enough students in grade 11 and 6 form for it to be viable for us to, um, to take students from those routes. So for example, there are only five grade 11 and six form students from White House. So what we would expect is that those students may come to Black River and take one of the buses that will be operating from Black River. We have other um, communities where there are small numbers of students in grade 11 and, um, and six form. So again, we're asking you to use the route that is closest to you to get to um, those buses and to, uh, and to come to school. We are going to be insistent that once you live on one of these routes that the bus, are, bus is traveling, you must, you must travel on those buses. So once, once you live, for example, if you live at Watchwell, it means that you must take one of the buses that is passing through Watchwell to come to states. And we don't want you to be taking taxis so, or, or other buses. If you have your own private transportation that drops you to school, then that's fine. Right? For those who live short distances away from school, that they can take a taxi and get here, then we will also allow that. Right? And then there are all, also other arrangements where, for example, for my Eldersley, um, Niagara, um, students have an arrangement for themselves that is acceptable as well. But the main road, so for example, Gutters, if you live in Pepper or Goshen, I don't want to jump in any, any, any taxi and come into school, there will be a bus coming through your community, make sure that you're at the, your location at the time designated there so that you can, you can travel on the school buses, right? And of course, we will determine who we allow through the gate. So we'll allow these buses, all these buses, that, that's about 12 buses, they will be allowed through the gate. Everybody else will have to come off, come off by the lay-by and um, we'll, we'll, we'll do their screening before you come through the gate, right? 
So that's that's number one, the priority as it relates to transportation. We're asking you to make use of those transportation. Um, of course, the buses will come at a cost. The normal charges that you pay to get to school is what will be applied. Right? But the busmen, the bus transport um, drivers will not be collecting any, any um, money. So Monday morning when you get here, you just get on the bus, get to school, and then when you get here, we will make, um, well, the arrangement is that you can pay for the bus for, your, for the week or the two weeks, or we will have tokens that you can purchase. You can purchase the tokens that you need to present to the bus driver when going on the bus, but the bus drivers will not be collecting any monies. All right? And it's the same fear that you normally pay that you'll be expected to pay. All right? Um, school, the uniform, um, we understand we only have two weeks left and um, some of you may not be fully prepared. So we are allowing you, if your uniform is not ready, we are allowing you to wear your school shirt or your house shirt or a jeans or a khaki pants, right? Or a skirt. Of course, no cut up jeans, no, um, no, no cut up jeans, no tight jeans down at your bottom. Regular jeans, I, I don't think I have to go through what is it that is not acceptable. You know what is normally acceptable when we have jeans day. Those are the jeans that, um, that are acceptable. But you can wear those, those things. If you are wearing uniform though, then you must conform to all the school rules, meaning that you will have in braids. We are going to be allowing the braids for the two weeks once it's not extravagant and colored, right? For the boys, if you are here, it's not cut. You cannot plait it and you must have it properly combed. All right, so if we we'll allow it to be worn to, um, tall, but it has to be combed and not plaited. All right, and of course, no earrings for neither male nor females, no jewelry. All right, so the normal regular school, school rules as, as it relates to those things are applied. Um, your devices, you are allowed to take your devices to school. But of course, no phone calls will be allowed on campus during school hours. All right, and you will only be used if you find if we find that you're using your devices for things outside of school related activities and things that bring the school into disrepute, we will confiscate it. And the normal rules, school rules regarding suspensions and so forth will be applied. All right. Um, we also want to remind you that we will have regular classes. So all students for grade 11 and sixth form who come in, it will be regular classes. You are expected to attend classes as per normal. So it will be normal class schedule. So break and lunch time, you're outside. During the other times, you must be engaged with your teachers, right? And you must be following the protocols So the seating in the classrooms. Must, must um, conform to the physical distancing required. You must wear your mask. You must wear your mask. No gathering during break and lunch time um, in the common areas. You must comply with the request of your teachers and other staff members who may point out to you that you are too close together or remind you to put on your mask. We will not be serving cooked lunch. However, the talk shop will be fully operational and you will be able to, to, to get your, your stuff from the ticket office as usual, but you will also be able to serve. So talk shop items will be available from the canteen as well as from the talk shop. So we'll have three lines inside the auditorium for the talk shop during break and lunch time. Outside of break and lunch time, you will be served from the canteen only. Sorry, from the talk shop um, only. All right. Um, are there any questions? Benny. Good morning, Mr. Wellington. I have a Good question, morning. sir. Good morning, Mr. Robinson. For, for Route 11, I see a Barrett there. Yes. Um, is, that, is that bus coming from New Forest, sir? I think he normally comes from Bolsa. For um, New Forest Alligator Pond, I think I only see, let me tell you, I only see. Um, for, for that, that route, I think I, I only have about five students. Oh, by the way, we have some persons who did not complete the survey. 
um, I think a little under 100 students. So I've only chosen 70 responses from grade 11 and sixth form. So there are roughly a, um, a little under 100 students who did not complete it. So, so on the alligator pond, New Forest Road, right? I only see one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, eight persons, right? So Oshane, Oshane is on Mount Pelia. Who is your child um, again, Robbie? Tijare. Tijare what? Robinson. <laughs> Right. Oh, TJ, I heard Mrs. She's in Mrs. Wellington's accounts class. No, he, she's in grade he 11. No. He. no, I don't see TJ. TJ did not complete the survey. Okay. All right, so I don't have the data on him. So, based on the numbers I have for Alligator Pond, it would make sense I put a, a, a bus from um, Alligator Pond, New Forest. So, right, so it'll have to go to Downs to meet the bus. Right, you'd have to go to Downs or if they make another arrangement, that's fine. But on Monday when they come in, we can I can revise the, the, the arrangement based on the numbers that are here. All right. Okay, I, so. I will also send back out the link. I'll also send back out the link so those persons who did not complete the survey, they can complete it between today and tomorrow. So if I see the numbers change, I can make another arrangement. All right. OK, sir. All right. Cynthia, Cynthia, you can unmute and go ahead. Good morning, sir. Good morning. Good morning. Um, for Bulls have um, mm -hmm. Route 11. Mm -hmm. um, can, is that, the that is the number of students. Have? Sorry, the, the number that is, that is there is the number uh -huh. of students that we have from those areas. So you, you have 11 for Barrett and 22 for, for Barrett. Those will go yeah. in one bus. And we don't want 33 people in a bus, but we assume some of them may not be coming. So we'll start with one bus that does Bullsav Junction. Um, um, and I think we're going to switch to Nain rather than Don't. But we'll work that out and you'll know over the okay. week. So, continue with the so they will just pick him up at the bus stop because where, where he lives, you'd have to walk, go to the bus stop. At Bullsav, yes. Yeah, man. Remember, right. So you know, you the students know where the bus is normally traveling up. So... Okay. Um, you go to where you would normally be picked up. No, I just want to confirm that there is there, you know, if there is just a location, one stop that they yes. would have to go to. No, okay. they can't they can just go to the bus stop, right? At the bus stop. All right. Thank you. Sir. Good. Um, Alicia. Alicia, unmute and go ahead. I'm not hearing from Alicia. I'm um, sorry. I'm asking if traveling on the bus is free. No, it's in same same price that you normally pay for your when you're coming to school. So whatever the cost is that you normally we couldn't pay, we could it couldn't be free. It would cost us more than more than a million dollars for the two weeks. So, so obviously it cannot be free, right? But as I said, you will not be paying. It's not free. You'll pay, you'll pay at school and you'll get your bus passes. So you're not going to pay the bus drivers um, when, you, when you're boarding the bus. So Monday morning, you just board the bus. When you come here, we'll collect the data and we'll make arrangements to collect uh, from you. All right. Um, is it that Del 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 Delimina? Unmute yes. and go ahead. Sir, how about um taxi? How about drive from Tarnton? Tarnton, yeah, man. Bus, the bus, the the silo bus. Uh, Mr. Reynolds starts from Tarnton. All right, so it will be Tarnton okay. silo, Tarnton silo and Magati. So Tarnton at seven o'clock. Okay, sir. Thank you. So let me just fix up that. Um, any other questions? Sir, good morning. Yes. Good morning. Who will be bringing the students that from Southfield, Seaview, Pedro Cross, Newell, and Mountainside because there is no driver there? Yeah, yeah. I, I, for Southfield, for Southfield, let me show you what I have for Southfield. Again, if people didn't complete the survey, they won't have accurate information. So for Southfield, I have lower Southfield, right? Um. Lower Southfield, only four persons, two in Flagaman, 
one in CV, one, one in um, watch well, right? So the one in watch well, it's fine. They can go on the Treasure Beach bus, right? That's Rihanna. And Rihanna can go on the Treasure Beach bus. Um, the Sea View and Flaggerman will have to work that out. Um, the Sea View person could possibly come to Kinkade and take the and take the Southfield bus. But I'll work it out over the weekend. I'm just going to throw back out the link. And those persons who are um, those persons who didn't fill it out, if they fill it out and I see I have more numbers, then I can um, I can add another bus on the road. So this upper Southfield has um Abigail from Gilton, so she can she can go to Junction. Um, see view again, one see view Shemari. Southfield housing scheme can take the bus that comes from Monroe. I'll probably ask the bus from Monroe to start at Kinkhead and just go up to Monroe Malvern, right? And the two top hill persons can come to South to, to, to um Junction if we're not going to be able to find a bus that starts at Southfield. All right. Sir, I live at Seaview and it would be better for me to travel to Cross Road instead of Kinkade. Right, so we could use, right, so we could look at a um, coming through Cross Road for when I treasure beat bus. I'll make those arrangements, right? And you'll know by tomorrow because that's okay, we'll, right? um Michael. Uh, Michael. Good morning, sir. Good morning. Um sir. What about the persons who travel, who live along the main road going from Nakora to Santa Cruz, sir? The bus will pick you up. So one of the Black River or the New Market bus will pick you up. So just make sure that is, make sure you're readily identifiable. I'm going to try and make sure the buses are marked. Um, but the big bus, the state's big bus will be on the Black River road. So you'll know it when you see it. Okay then, sir. Thank you, sir. All right. Any other questions? Sir. Yes. I somebody Good afternoon. Good morning, sir. Yeah. Um this in Mandeville, sir, where would we where in Mandeville would we know tell, the bus, tell, sir? Would it be where, the Mandeville where, taxi stand, sir? We? Where you normally where would you normally um start in Mandeville? We're going to use the state's coaster from Mandeville. Tell me where should we start with the pickup? Maybe no, I'm so just asking you where in the pick up pick up pickup would start because I don't I don't know that's why I'm asking you for advice because I don't know where's the most convenient place. I'm thinking maybe at JN because, because typically it, that don't sound bad because typically it would be near the taxi stand and taxi stand is near JN, so that wouldn't be a problem. All right, so we'll so we'll pick up at JN then. So I'll tell the driver that he starts. So everybody in Mandeville, they are to meet at uh, where what time is the Mandeville pickup? Seven o'clock. Right at the JN, and it's a school bus for Mandeville. Yes, sir. All right. Any any other questions? Lejavia. Good morning, sir. Good morning. Um, for persons living in Aberdeen, would it be that we'd have to meet the bus at Silo? Yes. Yes. Okay. Sir. It? You can get taxi come down, right? Yes, sir. All right. Okay. And I will, if they are, we continue to work on the plan, so if, if we can make the plan more convenient, we will do so, all right? Okay, sir, thank you. Sir, good I morning, see. sir. What about the people who are on contract with Ray and Neville, sir? What contract with Ray and Neville? <laughs> I don't know what that means. What is it? What you have to explain to me. My Pay for our fares, sir, to come to school. So who who do they, do they normally pay? They normally pay the bus men? Sir, Harvey Bagaloo. Oh, so it is Mr. Bagaloo. Oh, all right. So, so obviously, Mr. Bagaloo is not going to carry five or six students, right? So I have, um, what you can do, I have 42 persons on the, on the, on the current and to Tombstone Road, right? Um, that is too much for a for a coaster. Um, Mr. Bagaloo did not meet with us. I don't think I'll have to find out from Mr. Mackenzie. But um, how how many persons? Well, let me have that discussion and I will post the information in the group later, right? But you can send a WhatsApp to your form teacher to ask them to indicate to tell me that you are normally paid for by Appleton, right? All okay, right? sir. I'll probably what you need to do is to just ask Appleton to make the, the payment to states, but we'll have that discussion. 
I did ask Miss Waldron to go ahead. I don't know. Her hand is still up. Yes. Yes, Mr. Willis. A pleasant morning to you. Good morning. Concerning the rule for Ligeria, to my husband, it is going to be difficult for her to reach there in the morning and when the bus leave her. Yes. Is it possible to take the task, the taxi? Yes. Yes, she can go ahead and take it if it's safer. And the taxi comes from within the community, right? Yes, yes, Mr. Williams. All right, good, yeah, man. Thank you. I'm right. um, Shanique. Sir Wellington. Let's go ahead. Um, Alana here. All right, Alana. Sir, I went to school. Um, I'm in Cape, sir. So I went to verify my um my Cape entries. But mm -hmm. I was asking the lady at the front office, I don't know her name, I was asking her what would happen to the um the school shirt and the house shirt because I have not received the minors yet. So she was I saying that we would have to go, go, go ahead. So she was saying that she'd have to um schedule a day for the rest of the students who have yeah, not collected. You their, can collect um, on Monday. We'll schedule for Monday. So when you come in on Monday, or if you want, where do you live? In Junction, sir. And when you come in on Monday, we'll, 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 everybody can collect. Okay, sir. Thank you. Okay. All right. Let me go to Kimberly. Yes, sir. Uh, good morning. Good morning. Sir, I live in Barbara Hall. Can I travel to Watchwell and take the bus? Yes, yes, yes. Or Black River. Yes, that's right. Okay, sir. Thank you. All right, good. I'm um, Shanique. Good morning, sir. Good morning. Sir, you said that there's a possibility that the boss, Barrett, mm -hmm. that he won't... Um, go to Downs instead mm -hmm. you would go to Nain, sir. Mm -hmm. So I would have to take because I live in Prospect, sir. You live in where? Prospect. Prospect. Right. Yeah. All right. I will I will I, over the weekend I will make all the arrangements. Um so whatever information you had submitted about where you live, just let it stay and we will send out messages via your Google Classroom and the WhatsApp groups so that you know what arrangement is in place. And um, worst case scenario is that we have a little confusion on Monday morning, but by Monday afternoon, when everybody's here, we'll have it sorted out. Okay, sir. Thank you. All right, Ashara. Good morning, sir. Good morning. I'm asking if it's okay if you travel to school with a teacher that teaches at state. No, man, that's more than fine. That's more than fine. All right. All right. Any any other question? Any other questions? I'm reminding you that we're recording the meeting and that I'm asking that as soon as I send out the meeting recording, you share it in your groups so that your friends who are not here, they will get information. All right. I'm Kira. All right, Kira. Um, sir. Yes. How does the bus go for those living in the Longwood or Glencoe area, sir? Up here, sir? Just wait on the state bus coming from Mandible in the mornings. So by the time, where is it now? Mandible. So Pepper Ocean 750. So you get out at, I would say, 10 minutes to 8 if you live in Longwood or um, Wilton. And if you mm -hmm. pick, the state bus will pick you up. Okay, sir. All right. All right, any other question or questions? I think Kira had already asked her question. There are some questions in the chat, sir. Oh, can, oh Mr. Mark, thanks. Can you read them for me? Sure. Um, good, okay, that one was just answered. Will they continue school in January? All right, so that's a very good question. Once things improve, we expect that school will continue. However, um, one of the reasons why we want to ensure that you come out over the next two weeks is that we are not sure what will happen in January. Because obviously, if there's a spike, 
there will be no school. Right? And for you, grade 11 and 6 form students, 6 is not going to push back their exams in June. So we need to make sure that we make as much use as possible of the time that is left this term. Um, we have also just gotten a revised information re SBS. So we want to ensure that we use the time to focus on those things and to ensure that if we do not get the chance to return in January, you would have had enough information to, to do some work um, while we wait on the reopening of school. All right, Mr. Mark, let me just take these hands that are up before we ask another question. Jonas, unmute and go ahead. Jonas. Jonas, no? All right, let me go to Sherry's. Sherry's, you can unmute and go ahead. Good morning, sir. Good morning. I wanted to know what about the students who wouldn't be able to make it to school? Um, for what reason, may I ask? Uh, you, for example, if you live with persons who... Who have are, comorbidities, all right. All right, so what we, the arrangement we're going to try and put in place, for those persons who can't make it to school, what we'll do is to try and get the teachers to post the work within the, the Google Classroom still. Right, so you will have access to the work that the other students would have been doing. And of course, we're hoping that you'll have access to the teachers. So if there are explanations that you need, and you can reach out to the teacher or to your classmates who would have been in, in classes. All right, so we, okay. we, are going, we are cognizant of those who may not be able to make it, and we try and make um, arrangements to facilitate those persons. All right, um, okay. Gloria, unmute and go ahead, please. Good morning, Mr. Wellington. Good morning. Um, is there a school bell still at the office? Yes, we still have bells. And how, how, much, how much is it? I'm not sure, Mr. McKenzie, you know how much it is? No, sir, but I can find out. All right, find out and let us know when you come back. All right. Um, Jonas? It's 1500 sir. $1,500 for the school belt, OK. So that's 1500 for the school belt. Um, Jonas? All right, um, Mr. McKenzie, next question. Sure. Um, in Leeds, does the bus pick up at a designated spot or road are side. they? Road at the roadside, so just make sure you're on the main. Okay, right. They asked how much for the tickets? For the buses? Yes. For the bus, it's the same fare that you normally pay. All right, so you would have told us what you normally pay, pay. So it's the same, it's the same cost. So if you normally pay five hundred dollars, it is five hundred. If you normally pay one hundred, it is one hundred. All right. And remember, remember, just to explain that that's a reasonable offer. The buses will not be allowed to take the number of students they normally take. So what we will have to do now, we will have to make up the money that you pay to pay the buses. That's why we're not asking you to collect. We're not asking them to collect the monies from you because we, they, when you, when you come on the buses, we will check off. We know they have already told us what it costs to run the bus on the route. So we will pay for the route and what you pay will be a contribution towards that cost. All right. Okay. Um, Brianna. Brianna, unmute and go ahead. Brianna Burrell. Good morning, sir. Good morning. Sir, um, I live in um, Hope Town, sir, and I see on the, um, with something, say Warminster, sir, but I live like far distance from Warminster. So you, have to, you have to come and to school. I have to yeah. come from Hope Town to go to Warminster, sir, and I have to play fear to go to Warminster, yeah, sir. So, so, all right, so if you are, so if you are not on the, on the normal sir? route, if you are not on the, on, um, if you are the way you come to school, is different from the routes that we have. So if you are way off the normal routes, then you take the transportation you normally take to school. Because we can't send a bus in, for example, Hopeton or Dalton or up in Williamsfield for two or three persons, right? And if it's going to cost you more to, to take a um, taxi or something to, to go and pick, 
take the bus, then it's best if you take the, 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 the route you normally take. Okay. Right. Mm -hmm. All right, Mr. McKenzie. Sir, where do I find the survey to complete about attending schools? All right, so I will I will send back that, that link. It was in the group, it was sent out repeatedly. So I'll just send it out to the form teachers and ask them the grade level Cape form teachers. Well, the Cape, I'll post it, post it in the Cape um, WhatsApp group. For the grade 11s, I'll put, ask your form teachers to, um, to send it back out to you and to post it in your Google Classrooms. So you can just click on, um, on it and do it. If you did it already, then you, you won't have to do it. As a matter of fact, I don't think you'll be allowed to do it again. All right? Any other, Mr. Mark? Can the girls wear braids? Yes, they can wear braids, but no coloring in the braids. And um, we expect it to be properly kept um, for the two weeks. I did say that at the outset, that we are going to be a little bit relaxed with the, with the uniforms. Um, so you can wear your uniform, but if you, if you don't have appropriate uniform, you can wear jeans and the house or school shirts and the standards would be the same as if it was jeans day. So no cut up jeans. Mr. Mackenzie, remind me of the don't, of the don't for me, please. Oh, I don't have, I don't right. have all of it here They know, me. they know, and no slippers, yeah, the know. boys. The boys, no slippers, no slipper, right? So it's sneakers yeah. or shoes, no slipper. Right. right. No, no shorts, shoes. no shorts, right? right. Right. And it's in, in terms of like the crop pants, those sort of things, those are not allowed. Right, right. right um, another question. Mm -hmm. How many days within the two weeks are grade 11s expected to be at school? Every day. So it's two weeks of normal school. So it's two weeks every day for the two weeks. Grade 11 and 6 form. Six hours, if you don't have a class on the day, you don't have to come to school. Shut up. Who are you going to school and do class? For the roots with more than one. Manners, somebody who doesn't have any manners, at least keep it to yourself and mute your mic. I'm just trying to do that. Listen. Different. They would have given me two. One For the routes with more than one driver, does the student choose the bus they want to travel with? Or no, the, one, the, one, the, first, the first one that comes. All right. What if you live in Kingston? Go to a school in Kingston. Um, is there lower six ties available? Yes, we do have them available. Mr. Mackenzie, what are you logging as? JM. JM. Right, so let me just make your co-host and mute everybody else. Sure. Where in Junction is the pick? Unmute, Mr. Mackenzie. Just unmute yourself, Mr. Mackenzie. Yes, sir. Where in junction is the pickup point? That um, was the next one. The junction, I guess it would be somewhere at um close to they know the routes and I don't I don't know where they normally do the pickups, but I assume it would be maybe somewhere near Neil's near Neil's enterprise. Okay. But they okay. would know the routes, right? Um the other question is um will there be a bus passing through Top Hill? And we don't have enough yet. We don't have enough persons for that starting in Southfield, but by tomorrow they'll know. All right. Would students be allowed to leave early if they have no classes for the rest of the day? No, because if they leave early, it means that they are going to mix with the general population. So it is school, it is normal school hours. Will Parents be contacted to confirm pickup points before Monday, especially no, for those in the bound area. Uh, we will send out information. So, so the same uh, we'll send out information via WhatsApp 
and um, in the Google Classroom. So everybody needs to visit their Google Classrooms over the weekend. Okay. Should we trim? Yes. If I live in Ginger Hill, what time will the bus be passing New Holland? Um, that will be on the schedule. Uh, and which bus will persons in Flagerman take? Well, I answered that question already. We don't have enough persons in Flagerman. Only two persons I see from Flagerman. So the, the most important thing right now is for everybody who has not yet completed the survey to do so, so that I have a true picture of what is happening. All right. Will arrangements be made for ill persons? What arrange ill persons are not to come to school. If there are any signs that you are ill, you are not to come to school. And as I said earlier, um, the teachers are making arrangements so that the work done at school will be posted in their Google Classroom. All right. Um, and well, this, this it's a similar question. If you have one only one class and it's the, in the afternoon, should you still attend school that day? Because you're expected to be class here. Expect you, the one class that you have, and I assume right. that is coming from a sixth former. What? If you have on short nails. Short nails. <laughs> all the things, short nails. All the things that can be reasonably done to ensure that you are in compliance with the school rules must be done. Let me put it that way. So all the things, so your nails can be cut. They should be cut. They must be cut. Right, those, I'm those, still going to additional nails, sir, as in the, the tips. Listen, the students, point. listen, students, uh, this thing is not a joke thing, right? You're, as far as I know, you're all still students. All right, and uh, we have made, Mrs. Wallace, in a second, we have made some compliance. We have made some, um, some, some, some leeway in terms of what we'll allow, but the ridiculous request will not be tolerated. As I said in the meeting on Saturday, there are some of you who have who are now of the mind that school is not as serious as it was a year ago. We are concerned there are teachers who don't want to be here because of the risk involved, but they are going to be making the sacrifices to be here. I don't expect students to get to the ridiculous point where they are concerned about their hair and their nails. That's darn foolishness. And whatever you may think, this is your future. And if you are not willing, I don't even call those sacrifices. If you are not willing to do what is right to ensure your future, then I'm sorry for you. But I'm more, even more concerned about myself and persons like your parents who are going to have to suffer the consequences of you being crossed. So please don't ask those ridiculous questions which are which have no substance at all. Mrs. Holness. Uh, let me uh, unmute Mrs. Holness and go ahead. Thank you, Mr. Wellington. Good morning, parents. Good morning, students. Good morning, staff members. Um, yes, keeping the same vein, Mr. Wellington, I was just about to say that um, this is an opportunity students to get um, work done, get valuable, you make use of the time, valuable use of time. So I urge you to get focused, to, to come prepared on Monday for the next two weeks, to work extremely hard, to catch up on and anything you need to catch up on, clarify any misconceptions, um, get help with your SBAs, just, 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 just come prepared to just work from the get-go. This is an opportunity you are getting to, 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 to now meet face-to-face -to, -face to, to get on with your education. We don't know what the future holds, so let's make good use of this opportunity. It's, it's a serious time we're living in. And if we are, if, if, 
if we are all prepared to take the chance to allow you to come to school, then you have to come prepared to work. Right, you're not you're not coming to to loiter and to yes, you like to socialize with your friends and so on. But you have to remember now that this is just a two weeks window. You have to catch up on on work, which which you should have been doing a long time ago. So let let's not waste the time. I'm asking you. You have your timetables. Come prepared. You have um, SBAs that have already started. Come with the questions. Come with the work that your teacher knows should be looking at. Come with your lab books. Come with whatever questions you have and get those questions answered. Students, we don't know if we're gonna have this opportunity again, so please let's focus on the reason why we are coming to school and for the next two weeks. Remain safe, remember to observe the protocols. We know the mask wearing is not an easy thing, but we have to do it. Somebody asked if, the, if you can wear colored masks, of course. Wear your colored mask, wear the disposable, just wear your mask, sanitize, wash your hands, and please keep your distance. You have to develop that habit and make sure it becomes a practice to keep your distance. We all have to protect each other here. All right, so I urge you parents to ensure that your students are ready in the right frame of mind for school on Monday so we can make, you know, use of the time, you know, in wisely. All right, God bless you. And remember now to remain safe, take care of yourselves, make sure you take care of the supplements, make sure you're eating right, proper rest and so on, students and parents. All the very best and remain safe and let's make it a good, a good two weeks, a safe two weeks and make sure that we, you know, as I said before, making good use of the time. Thank you. Thank you, Mrs. Solis. All right. Um... Mr. McKenzie, any other questions? Yes, sir. Um, will ripped jeans be accepted if it has a fabric lining underneath, meaning no skin is being shown? What do you think, Mr. McKenzie? We, we have in the past allowed it as long as it is properly covered, but there are times when many other students um, make it appear as if it is okay, but later on you realize it's not. Mm. Okay. All right. So, so if we can, if you are uncomfortable with it, we'll add, we'll not allow them to. Right. And I, I, I would suggest that we, we we ask them to wear the whole jeans. Yes. Just that. Yeah. Right. Whole jeans. Next question. Um. Is is there a WhatsApp group for six form parents? There's a WhatsApp group that all the group six farmers are in. I'm not sure if parents are in the group, but there's a, ask your child. Um, she's a part of a group. So if it is that parents want to be in the group, then the coordinator can form the group. So um, just ask your, your child for the contact details. I'm uh, assuming the next question is, um, is it from someone who probably doesn't have a stitch shirt as yet? Can we wear pants and a plain shirt? Yes, until you come to school next week, yes. Right. Uh, um, they were asking about the pickup point for Watchwell and if they don't have a belt or a tire or school shirt, um, where they, I guess, they, they'll just wait until Monday. Yes, wait and until Monday. become available and more negative. They will be available negative. What if it is? A private vehicle that is taking you to school, can can you leave early if classes no, are finished? No, normal school day. We don't want to have that 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 issue where we have to determine who have a legitimate reason to leave or who doesn't. So it's a normal, it's normal school for the two weeks. Will there be path lunch? Um, as far as we know, no. We we have not been told, we have not been provided with the resources. I have a meeting with the minister this afternoon. So I will ask and find out if arrangements are to be made in that regard. But remember, I also said that we will not be cooking at the Is canteen. it okay for parents to bring students in their private vehicles? Yes. Yes, yes you can bring your child to school in your private vehicle. Will there be evening classes for biology? 
this or morning. even classes will be available? We will not be having physical face-to-face -face classes. So whatever arrangement that is currently in place is what will continue. If there are no arrangements in place for that now, it means that that will not happen until January the earliest. What will happen with online classes for the next two weeks? Online classes will remain in place for all the other grade levels, seven to grade seven to, to 10. So all the grade seven to 10 students will continue to have their online classes. Grade 11 and six form students will not have face, will not have online classes, but work will be posted in their Google classrooms as per, as per um, their schedule. So the, the teachers will teach here. And if there's work that is done, it will also be posted in the Google Classrooms. Okay. And Mrs. Hone has just posted that the biology classes are, are being held online for evening school as well. All right, so let me ask Shania to unmute and go ahead. We have about seven minutes left. We don't want to go beyond an hour. So we have seven minutes left. Shania, you can unmute and go ahead. Uh, you have changed your mind. You don't want morning, to. Morning, sir. Oh. Good morning. Morning. Um, how much is for the bus tickets? That it depends on where you are coming from. It depends on where you are coming from. Question, sir. What do you, whatever you normally pay to come to school, that is, so if you normally pay $100 um, to come and 100 to go, that's $200 a day, $1,000 a week, that's what you'd pay. Okay. All right. Any other questions? No other questions were posted, sir. I just want to wish everybody do all the best. And um, I forgot to mention good morning to everyone when I started, all right? Thank you. We hope to have a, a, a relatively smooth two weeks. Mm -hmm. Looking forward. All right. Thank you, Mr. Mbak. And just to re-emphasize. So one, nobody's to come to school if you are not feeling well. Two, if you live in a situation where you may have been exposed, then you are not to come to school. All right. Three, remember that everybody has to protect themselves. So all the protocols that have been established, you must follow them. Right, so the wearing of the mask, the physical, the physical um, distancing, all of those things will have to be observed. The washing of the hands constantly while you're on campus, all of those things we expect you to follow those regulations. Right, and it is important. It is very important that at the end of the exercise, everybody remains safe. So we want to make sure that everybody understands the responsibilities they have. And therefore, everybody has to be committed to the cause. We don't want anybody who wants to come out here to waste time and to gallivant and meet with their friends. It's not going to be acceptable because everybody here is going to be putting themselves at risk. And therefore, we must do whatever is within our powers to ensure that we do what it is that we should be doing to keep ourselves safe. So where we find that persons are breaching, then we are going to have to take strong actions against those persons. All right. All right I think that would have covered that would have covered um, the meeting. All right, and I want to thank you very much. Remember, remember, I want to share the contents of this meetings meeting. There were two hundred plus persons here. We expect that this information needs to be shared with um, over 400 persons. So it means that half the persons who should have the information don't yet have the information. So we're going to ask that you share the video with those persons who um, were not here today. Thank you very much again, everyone. Have a safe weekend. And I, again, remember, we'll be posting information in your Google Classrooms. So make sure that you, you get access to your Google Form Rooms. So the form teacher, We'll post the information in the form room. Please make sure that you, you access it over the weekend for your updates along with the WhatsApp groups. Thank you very much, everyone. Have a good day.